Um, getting started with game one, getting me going to Frozen Gates. <laughs> yeah, so Frozen, the only difference between this stage and normal gates is that the snow effect in the first 10 seconds can be really distracting if you're not expecting it. It really can be! And then when you actually take a stock and it's like, there's all these particle effects going on. Yeah, they're, they're, they're feeding the, the jewel in the, in the middle. And then when everyone's on last stock, the gate opens and nothing happens except the screen gets purpler. But it's cool anyway. But it is cool! I, I seriously do love the vibe that the stage is going for. Anyways, <laughs> the actual set itself. <laughs> Alright, so we've um, got a Amogus Drip here in Loser's Top 8. Yeah. Oh, really good job dancing out of the way of that F strong. That was really scary. Let's see, Lily's in a good spot. F strong into F strong. The classic. Oh, really good dash tack and just let that up sp or up B rip. Uh, K8 taking the first stock. Yeah, great platform tech chase option. Um, funnily enough, it was actually after a very much whiffed up special, but. You know, getting it on the second one, not a bad spot. Oh, what was that? I thought there was a mark on Slip there. Uh, yeah, it but... got kind of too. Oh, okay. I thought, okay, I understand. Yeah, Maple Mark, uh, this isn't for you, it's for, for the people. It uh, wraps on Smash Attacks and Lily getting hit into Lily, not just running into it. You have to, Maple has to physically hit you into it for it to, to wrap and consume Mark. Or she can tether to, in three separate directions, up, left, right. Not down. Yeah. Um, I'm worse, so just did not see the tether come out, and I was like, wait, why did Lily not get the wrap there? Uh, F strong, getting the down strong punish, yeah. Uh, that really, that, that move is like a little funny to DI if you're not prepared for it. Um, and it kind of just seemed like that's what went wrong there for Slip, just not getting the DI on it, but. Right now, KD8 off stage tries for the board air, not gonna find it. But this is uh, oh, oh, this lead man. is just getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, our our Orcane player here, our boyfriend, kind of letting this game slip away. Yeah, right now just gotta figure out how to take this stock. In theory, when your opponent's at 103% and they're one of the lightest characters in the game, it shouldn't be too difficult. But KD8 is not going out without a fight. Good usage of puddle. Not gonna get the down strong punish on it though. Yeah, so most characters okay. have good chase. Most characters have a way to cover all three tether options. Uh, for Orcane, it's up tilt. I believe that covers all three. Uh, it's apt. It's certainly puddle down smash. So when able to kill percent, you can't tether at all because Orcane just has a puddle app. Yeah, I love that bubble, but recovery, but 127 percent. This is starting to look kind of dire for Slip. Yeah, so the way you come back in these situations is with really good edge guarding, or you hope they SD, and it. It feels like KDH recovery has been really nice this set, so. Gonna yeah, SD might not be the uh, the option to look out for, but you know, to actually get a good edge guard, you have to be able to get in on your opponent, and KDH right. is making that impossible. Gets a good tether into F strong, yes. and that will be game one. Slip getting super overwhelmed. We'll have to see the counter pick here. Maybe a larger stage to kind of give provide more space, get Maple off your back. Yeah, big yeah. here. or King Classic. Uh, gonna be taking it to Blazing Hideout for game number two. Um, I think it also makes sense just because like you can use obviously like puddle and every bubbles. Um, just get a lot of stage control. Not to mention you can kind of get around Lily a lot easier than on a uh, stage with a lot smaller platforms. Moving platforms are also really nice for Lily because it, it attacks you. It's oh no, Lily's getting me. <laughs> Literally moving pressure at every point. Yeah, on Jewel Cell that's especially dangerous. Gate's a little less so, but still better. Yeah, so it goes for another down tilt there instead of just up tilting the tether. Yeah, I think that is something that is worth looking out for. Just literally let that up tilt sing, because it is a good move on its own, but especially when you are reacting to uh, tether coming at you. Crag's move that covers all three options, he has a few, but my favorite one that nobody knows about until I do to them is forward air. No kidding. Well, we're gonna covers all three because uh, you, if you fade back, it will hit. Uh, it will hit Maple on uh, behind Tether. Okay, Slip is kind of letting it uh, yeah, go it. crazy Slip. with this with the string right now. Really good on this stage for sure. Very nice counter pick. Yeah, but the oh, barrier, the roots. Oh. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, KD8 just has so much momentum right now. Slip. Um. 
kind of struggling to actually take this first stock. Very, very similar to in that game one. All right, There's so Lily really coming in. Dealing with Maple rewraps can be pretty annoying because uh, you have to hit her if she's trying to rewrap you. But then you're not DIing, right? Because you're holding towards the Maple. So the life hack for this is to use Tilt Stick. DI with your left stick and mash a tilt with your right. Yeah, but then I'd be, have to be using Tilt Stick. And yeah, I, I use would, Mash Stick. I can't do that. I would rather not do that. I, I, <laughs> just, I, just, I, just, I just hope. Nerds. <laughs> Ooh, Slip doesn't get the turn around there in the bubbles. Man, a good start from Slip, but can't can't get these edge guards. Finally a down oh. smash though. Yeah, it just catches out that side special. It was a little uh, ambitious, I don't know if this is the right word, but uh, I don't know how I felt about that side special from KD8. You just kind of were going midair. Yeah, um, probably a little complacent that autopilot recovery, because it is a very good option, but just wasn't paying attention where Slip was standing. Yeah, and Slip doing a good job taking advantage of that, but obviously you still are up a pretty solid amount of damage. Down strong into down uh, yeah. strong. The double. Yeah. The classic. Let's see. Yeah, now that Slip beat, that covers all three. Yeah, good up strong. Uh, very good reaction. Kind of just knew what to expect and was able to play around it. Now KD8 off stage. I love that patience waiting oh on God. the ledge. Slip going crazy. Catching it out, and that's the too stock far out. Maple could have recovered there, but it would have been a no resources recovery kind of thing. So I believe Slip would have, would have converted that anyway. Personally, I would have wanted to see KD8 at least try. Because yeah. you never know. You know. Pro probably like a misinput SD. Might have... Might have Blanked on a resource earlier and didn't realize it got it got stolen and tried to use it off stage just died. Yeah. Wow. Slip down strong. Okay. Oh, gets that wow. there and slip. Finding game classic. two. What a back and forth game. This set's going places. Yeah, it really did feel like KD8 was kind of running the show for the first like stock and a half, but Slip really seemed to pull it together in that final stock and was able to get stuff like uh, catching out that side special it was going way too high, and uh, yeah, just really cleaned up that act and. Now we're going to be going to Neo Fire Capital for our game number three. Oh, yeah. Intruder detected. The intruder's always orcane, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> orcane is or never where he should be. I think that's a good way of putting it. And I think that also applies, like, canonically, too. Yeah, if orcane is somewhere, he is not allowed to be there. It is wrong. If you see orcane, it, it, you should not be. Parry that Lily, yeah. All right, looks like a bit more of a campy play stock in KDA. But actually, uh, I feel like this is the wrong way to go about things. Because uh, game one, Slip got overwhelmed by just constant pressure, big offense. Slip picks to a bigger stage game two and does end up winning that one. And now KD, KD8 picking to an even, even more bigger stage on game three. I feel like this is working favorite. Yeah, it, it is really weird, and I, I do agree, it feels like kind of a misplay, like, that was kind of Slip's win condition, is having all that move to move around, and this game, not only do you give them a bigger stage to move around with more, but you're also playing so defensively and not playing committal, or committing to anything. This is a, kind of Slip's, like, ideal strategy for you to play if Slip wants to win the game. Camping out Orcane on the stage is definitely a viable strategy, just in the matchup in general, but I don't know about it in this matchup or in this player matchup. Yeah. <laughs> you were playing the best when you were throwing out a ton of hitboxes and Slip didn't know how to react. Like, don't give them time to think. You gotta keep continuing that pressure. Bubble is available. Great down strong, catching out that side special. Uh, aggressive side special makes it back to the stage, though. Um, both players at relatively high percent on their first stock, but... Mark is active. Um, KD again, just giving up oh. stage control. Yeah, and just run up F strong with the uh, puddle is going to mean KD is going to lose that first stock. Yeah, puddle F strong is kind of how Orking breaks through his uh, his like neutral zone. You know, you just stay at his threat range. It extends it like no other move does. So it's really hard to expect sometimes, and you just die. You have to be careful. You have to be mindful of Orking's extended threat range when he has a puddle up. Yeah, and I think that is a very smart play on there from Slip as well. You know that KD8 is so far back, and you don't have a lot of moves that'll reach that far, except for Puddle Extended F Strong. And now, you are a full stock ahead, and you are getting so much damage on KD8's second stock, and KD8 still hasn't found the, the big hit to actually close out this first stock. 
Well, the thing about Orchain, yeah, there, there's stage, support there. That'll do it. Is it's really, really hard to edge guard him because he can just go to the puddle. This stage, this stage is gigantic. Yeah. See, puddle is in center stage again. Just kind of resetting the neutral, going back to very patient plan, uh, game plan there from KD8. <laughs> and now we've officially just reset where, what side of the stage we're both on. <laughs> And KD had gone back to like the campy sort of playstyle. Bates had the S smash there, but ends up going a little too far back. Bubble Butt just trying to call out KD8, but down strong with the puddle is going to find that second stock. And yeah, Slip only at 2% on their second yeah. stock is in a very, very good position to take this game three. <laughs> this, is oh, the camper, wow. this is the camper stage. If you're playing acro on this stage, it's kind of weird. Yeah. I, I picked the stage in bracket today and I, I camped I camped so hard. It kind of just lends itself so well to camping out your opponent. The Great platform land is so nice. You have so many options. Yeah. <laughs> you can either go in or go further away, just depending on what you want to do. See, good F strong, good but ooh, doesn't I tether like that F tilt, tilt actually. Good F tilt. Yeah. I think it, there, it was. It might have been possible to tether Nair after that. Maybe. Yeah, or at least something. Just throw out another yeah. hitbox. Don't let Slip come back to the stage for free. Now the ultimate Maple combo off stage is you do a tether, then you do your aerial down special, jump up and up air them, tether again and forward air. That's very convoluted. <laughs> yeah. So um, speaking game of three. tether, yeah. Um... After a, a bit of a... Oh, that wasn't even a punish. That was literally just bubble into uh, a bear. Yeah, or King Classic. It's, it's a big bubble stage. Yeah. Oh, actually getting the run back. KD8 running it back to Neo Fire Capital. Uh, according to KD8 in uh, Twitch chat, apparently Slip banned a lot of the small stages. Um, and I'm guessing that's probably why we're going to like a bigger stage. My guess is KD8 probably said, like, if I can't have any of these smaller stages, I might as well have a big one and be able to run around on it, but... Yeah, I, I uh, think it's just, like, I'm more comfortable when I'm camping, so I'm gonna go to the big stage and do the camping. Unfortunately, Slip is even more comfortable. So it's just an overall net negative. Yeah. Uh, game number... What is this? Yeah, four. game four getting started. Slip, uh, one game away from winning the sets and advancing to lose his quarterfinals, but... You're getting into it now. Did you know Slip was string. Just kidding. Slip is also what? In my pool? But I was kidding. That is not true. <laughs> I watched his stream though, so I really felt, really felt like I was in Slip's pool. Y you might as well have been in, in his pool, you know? Okay, so what you do about this platform little here is you want to air dodge, use your air dodge to kill it. You can either air dodge up above it, air dodge straight through it, or you can get just barely below it and then start your air dodge right after it registers the hit on you in Waveland. Yeah. Oh, boy. Is, well, this kind of, the platform is kind of a monolith. Uh, not to mention, the, the pressure that KD8 is also exerting is kind of scary to literally just run up and air dodge uh, mm -hmm. just to get rid of Lily. Yeah, you, you kind of don't want to don't play under there in the first place. It's just like after that hit, that's when you would air dodge it. Yeah, like... Exactly. You know, get a good hit in advantage. You can't really follow up on it, so you might as well. Like, right there, even. Okay, so I think Slip tried to get a puddle down to just for Tether to get that down strong. Like, KD8 recovered super fast, so it didn't work. Oh, uh, so no, no, you're no, it. It. <laughs> There's no type of commitment like overcommitment. Really dead, so yeah. please up the combo space. Good string again, Slip. Just doing such a good job controlling the pacing of this match. Uh, seems to get so much mileage off of these little hits in neutral. So Lily kind of of Lily. Not even comparing it here. Oh no, yeah. dash check's the worst thing there. That would have been so yeah. cool if it was F tilt instead of dash check. Yeah, would have you just set yourself up for like an F strong follow up or something? There's a little carry, good. Do it. Down strong, finding another down strong at 160%. That definitely will get you killed. 
But uh, yeah, 60% lead for Slip, so it isn't the end of the world to finally lose that stock. You've already gotten so much mileage out of that first one. Oh, look at that Lily cake. That was that was awesome. That was gorgeous. Oh, what yeah, kind? Good DI, not gonna die quite yet. Uh, KD8 just struggling to get their footing. F Strong gonna take that second stock, and now Slip a full stock ahead right now. What is the answer for KD8? Yeah, KD8 gets hit with the Norcane Classic uh, Droplet to create the, the puddle, and then an immediate strong off of the, off of the puddle, making it empowered. Oh, whoa! The answer, is, the answer is die! Yeah, evidently, just like a stray back air, and that'll actually just yeah. be the set.